to get a bet down on Happy Pride. I'm riding on the handicap tomorrow. Oh, isn't she the lucky one? You seem to forget my brother's riding in that race. And any time he's riding, you've got him to beat. Oh, yeah? You ought to know. Many's the time he's <laughs> kicked dust in your face. Yeah, but not tomorrow. In the fifth, I'm betting on Firefly and the horse Smokey Reynolds is up on. Oh, Dr. Jockey is amazing. He's my best. Hi, sis. Oh, hello, Frankie. Hey, listen, could you loan me four eighty-five? I'll pay you back out of my allowance, fifty cents a month. What do you want it for, school? Oh no, I wanted to buy a little cripple coat. Gosh, he's the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life. Well, you know what Smokey would do to you if you bought a coat home. Yeah, I know, but oh gosh, sis, I just gotta buy him because they're gonna shoot him. Well, I hate to tell Smokey a story, but if you wanted the money for school, of oh. course, I could. Well, oh, I get it. I'll, I'll come in again. Okay. Hi, sis. Hello, Frankie. Will you loan me 485? What for? School thing. Oh, all right. Okay. There. There you are, then. Four dollars and eighty-five cents. Gee, thanks a minute, sis. Just for that, I'll give you half interest in the coal. Well, never mind the half interest. Just you pay me back that four dollars and eighty-five cents. And listen, young man. The next time, you stay away from my sugar bowl. Who, me? Yes, you. So long, sis. Say, how about a date for tomorrow night, fellas? Four? Four seventy-five, four eighty-five. Okay, Frankie. I hope you win a million dollars in purchase with him. Thanks. Oh, what are you going to call him? Oh, I know. I'm going to call him Trouble. <laughs> Why Trouble? Because I had so much trouble raising that 485. <laughs> Come on, boy. Oh, Frankie. Huh? Uh, what are you going to feed him? I'm going to feed him hay. Where are you going to get it? Well, I... This will buy him a few bales. Oh, but I... Thanks very much. Come on, Trouble. Well, come on. Come on. Trouble, boy. aren't you going with him? Yeah, no, boy. <laughs> Not a bad name, Trouble. Uh, I don't like that name, Trouble. No, sir. Uh, that's bad. <laughs> okay, Sam. There, see that? That leg is just as good as new. I told you those mud packs would do it. Yeah, and it only took six months, too. You deserve a lot of credit, Frankie. I didn't think that leg would ever be any good. You want to see a beautiful horse? Yeah. Watch this, Clay. Come on. Back up. Back up. Come on. 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 I don't mean her. I mean him. That's where we differ. I mean Phyllis. How are you, Phil? Fine. How are you, Clay? Say, what are you two horse traders up to now? I wouldn't trade trouble for man or war. <laughs> well, right now I'd trade almost anything for a little powder. You don't need that. Why? I'll tell you how beautiful you are. Please, Mr. Harrison. I thought you'd come out here to see trouble. Well, here I am. Well, here he is. Come on, Trouble. Stretch your stuff. Come on, boy. Come on. How do you like him? Cute. Might develop into a pretty good racehorse, too. <laughs> Did my best to keep him away from horses and racing, but he's developed into a pretty good jockey at that. He's got a long ways to go before he can match strides with you, Smokey. <laughs> well, just the same, I wouldn't want to ride against him. Well, if he has his way, you'll be riding against him. The opening day of the meet. <laughs> What's he going to ride? 
I'm not kidding. He wants to enter trouble in the race. Oh, boy. Trouble? Say, Frank, what's this I hear about you riding against me and Dancing Boy? That's right. If Trouble and me can get the $100 entrance fee, we'll be there. Hey, you're kidding, aren't you, Frankie? <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. And you wouldn't say that either if you could see him when I really let him run. Well, I'd give you the $100, Frankie, but I'd just be throwing it away. Oh, thanks. Don't do me any favors. Come on, Trouble. Let's not listen to what these guys say. See you later. <laughs> Maybe he has a chance. Just a loving sister. Well, hello, Tex. Why, the great Terry Magnus. How are you, little guy? Well, I heard you were coming down. Why, the horses wouldn't be able to run unless they could look out and see Tex down on the betting ring. <laughs> you know, Dopey. Hi, guy. Hi. Long shot? Sure. Hello, jockey. Hi, you guy. Why, hello, good looking. Well, I'm back. Yeah, I was a... Hey, you act like you ain't glad to see me. Hey, Phil, how about my coffee? Coming up, Harry. <laughs> Anything else? No, thanks, Phil. That's What's the matter with you, Dopey? I don't feel good. Could you let me have some bacon soda? Sure. Why don't you do something for that stomach of yours, Dopey? Oh, why don't my stomach do something for me? I don't feel good. Hey, I guess you don't like me. If I were as good a guesser as you are, Tex, I'd play the races, too. <laughs> you know, after you get to know me better, you like me. They all do. Oh, really? Well, you know something? It's a funny thing. When people first meet you, they don't think they're going to like you. But after they get to know you, they're sure of it. <laughs> Take the edge of that. <laughs> I feel worse now. Are you sure that's bacon soda? Oh, excuse me. My air. That's the polish for the silverware. Well, we all split the purse. Yeah, but five bucks is a lot of newspapers. Well, sure it is. But if we win the race, you get back 50 bucks. And boy, that's a lot of newspapers. Now, what do you say? Okay, it's a deal. Swell. I'll see you later. Extra. Yeah, George, but if we win the race, well, we split up a thousand dollar purse. Thousand dollars? Yeah. Man, that sure am a lot of shine, but I'm in it. Good boy. But I don't get paid until Saturday. Oh, gosh. I gotta raise a hundred dollars entrance fee by tomorrow. Try to get an advance. Swell. Go on, hurry up. Okay. I'll meet you here in a half hour. Well, what's the matter? Ain't I good for five? Well, you know, if I had it, I'd give it to you. What's the matter with your old man? He runs a bank. He ought to have a lot of money. <laughs> you don't know the banking business. Yeah, but look, I've got to have five dollars. Won't you ask him for it anyhow? Well, I, I can try. Okay, hurry up. I'll meet you here in 15 minutes. Hurry up. Go on. Now, look, you've got a swell job and everything. All I want is five dollars. Well, gee, Frank, I'd like to, but I've got to save my money to get a new bike. A new bike? Listen, if things go the way I think they will, you can have a new motorcycle. What do you say? The security. The secu well, all I'm asking is five. What do you say? Come on, I... Come on, come on, huh? All right. Meet me in front of the store in a half hour. Swell. Go on. <laughs> You mean you want me to pull the race? Pardon? See? He's getting the wise already. You know, there's been four generations of jockeys in the Reynolds family. We all had weak hands. None of us could pull a horse. That guy cost us plenty of money last year. Ain't there some way we could handle him? I could sleep a whole lot easier if there were no Smokey Reynolds on the racetrack. 
Now, all I want you boys to do is to ride Smokey into a pocket and keep him there. So Terry will have fair standing at the three quarters. Terry, you'll have the top speed. Use it. You ought to win by six lengths. But gee, Tex, you're getting a little rough around this race time. Well, that's better than me getting rough, isn't it? You know what I tell you. Well, Frank, there it is. I'm sure going to try. Let's see if we can't get women's place. Yeah, but uh, don't take up too much stuff in my eyes. I'm still going to try. <laughs> Good luck. Same to you. me 10 G's. 10 G's? What do you mean you didn't see him? And when I did, it was too late. Well, I never figured he had a chance. Well, it was just a freak anyway. But here's our chance to get that smoky dug guy for good. Our Colonel Stafford McCommitty. Ah, oh, that up, boy. You earned a thousand dollars worth of carrots yesterday. That's pretty good, isn't it? Here, look, I got another one for you. Look at here. What's that? Look at that. Yeah, that up, boy. It's Yeah. Uh, your name's Frankie, uh, Frankie Reynolds, ain't it? Yeah, that's right. Well, it's five hundred dollars in that envelope. Your brother asked me to find you and have you deposited in the bank for him. Five hundred dollars? Well, that's funny. How come he didn't deposit him himself? Oh, don't ask so many questions. Your brother's in a little jam. Now, you better get over to the bank right away. Hustle, right away. Well, listen, mister, I, I don't know you. How do I know it's all right? Say, it'd be different if I asked you to draw $500 out of the bank, wouldn't it? Yeah. That'd be different. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it would. Well, okay. Thanks very much. I'll do it right away. Come on, Trouble. Okay. Agnes, that's a very grave... Now then, Rose, you know that a jockey is not permitted to bet in a race in which he participates? Yes, sir. You believe that you because he was betting on another horse? I've got a pretty good reason to think so. Is he bet on his own horse? He bet on the winner. It's rubber. Why, you uh, know, I just a minute. Sit down, and if you want to sit down for the rest of the meet. Is that true, Reynolds? Why, no, sir. I never... No, it's not true. My brother never did anything like that in his life. I won that race, and I won it fair and square. What about the $500 you put in the bank for your brother? What $500? What do you mean? Well, that $500... 
Hey, you're really looking for I tell you to sit down. I tell you to sit down. The rest of the meeting, I'll walk out here. Here, listen. Then just where did you get the $500? Well, listen, they're making a stooge out of me so they could get my brother. Well, that $500, a guy gave it him. He's a little guy. I guess he was drunk. He's a sourpuss guy. He said the money belonged to Smokey. Sorry, Smokey. I guess it's all my fault. I'm just a big dummy. But, but I'll show them they can't play you and get away with it. Are well, you getting excited, Frankie? You've got to find that sourpuss guy, as you call him. That's one way at least we can prove that Smokey was framed. Yeah? Well, I'm starting right now. We took care of Smokey, but it looks like Frankie took care of you. <laughs> oh, it was like this. I was walking along my, my own business, and suddenly he popped around the corner. He threw a left mitt, and I yeah, And you led with your right eye. <laughs> One, two, three. He's out and don't know Four. Ah, you guys, give me a Shut pain. up, you guys. I can't hear. Now, listen. I want you to spread this over the country so we won't ruin the odds. And when I tell you that Bubbling Oak is going to win the Derby, you ought to know he's going to win it. Yes, I'll guarantee it. Okay, kid. What, what's up, Toby? Who's that, kid? Ain't it? Say, listen, Tex. <coughs> Stanford is asking a lot of questions about a guy that gave the kid the dough. Well, as long as he don't find it out, what good is it going to do him? Nobody knows legs around here. All we got to do is keep him under cover, that's all. Listen, the only way to keep him under cover is to keep him under whiskey. And by the way, I got another beef out of him. What does he want now? Just a little thing called dough. Rody dough, dough, dough. That guy can drink it faster than you can bring it for him. Here, send him this. But this is where I get off. He's going to squawk. It's not enough. Hey, you know what disgusts me? What? A guy swelling booze all the time. <laughs> See you later. I'll send you my entry blanks in the next few days. Okay. Clay, now listen, you know Trouble can't win that race in East Hall. And that's where he's going to be unless you enter him. You know darn well he can beat Dancing Boy. I guess there's no denying that. Well, look, I'll tell you what I'll do. If you land him under your colors, I'll split the first with you and sis. Oh, that's nice of you, Frankie, but... And besides, if trouble wins against the greatest horses in the country, you'll know that Smokey didn't frame that race. Sure. That's right. And it'll be a point in Smokey's favor. Even if we don't find that fellow that gave you the money. Swell, will you do it? By Harrison Stables. Yes? Yes, what? We'll be right over. What's the matter? Cut these down to Smokey, kid. Well, come on. Well, Where is he? I don't know. An accident of some kind. Oh. Come on, honey. But why'd you do it, Smokey? You shouldn't have taken it so hard. Everything's going to be all right. You have a lot to live for, Tommy. Racing isn't everything. It is for me. There's every reason for you to pull through if you'll fight. Hey, you know where I was today? I just got back from Colonel Stanford's office. And, well, you know what? They're going to reinstate you. Yeah, honest they are, Smokey. And, oh, gosh, you'd have laughed if you, if you could have seen them all bowing down, trying to apologize for, for the mistake the committee made. <laughs> Gee, now, all you have to do is get well and... Maybe it'll be in time for the Derby. Never could tell a good lie, Frankie.
Where's Tex? He ain't in the leg. Hey, what's the idea of keeping me hidden now without any liquor, huh? What, no liquor? No liquor, and that guy's going to hear from me. Oh, well, wait, sit down and wait for me. It's back soon. Say, I'm going out and get drunk, then I'll come back and I'll throw this joint up for grass. Here, take a swig of this. This is good for what ails you. I know what it ails me, and I'm going out and get something for it. Wait a minute. He wants to see you. Wait, Leg. What'll I tell Tex? You can tell Tex. Say a very ginger ale. Have you any ginger ale or am I alone in this joint? Yeah. Yeah, sure, we've got ginger ale. Sit down, make yourself comfortable. Bring it on. Bring it on. Hey, sis. What? That's the guy. Oh. That's the guy that gave me the money. You know, sourpuss. Look, whatever you do, keep him here. Don't let him get away. I'm going after Clay. I'll be right back. Keep him here? Who do you think I am? The Wonder Girl? How? Well, I don't know how, sis, but give him his ginger ale. Smile. Turn on the personality. I'll be right back. Keep him here now. Hurry. I will. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. Hello. Hello. Sit down, will you, Gary? All right. No, it can't be. Yeah, it is. Are you as pretty as you look, or am I drunk? Who said I was drunk? You're just pretty, that's all. Do you think so? Uh-huh. Have a little drink. Well, I... Uh... Oh, I know. You want it in a glass, hmm? Yes, I see it in a glass. In a glass, you so have it. I'll fix you up for just a minute. There you are. Here's the go. Bottoms up and down the hatch. Down the hatch. Good. But why didn't you hold him, Dopey? I tried to, but I couldn't. He said he was only going out to get drunk. And the funny thing is, he couldn't have gotten any drunker. Just what did he say? All he said was... You can tell Tex. All right, you guys, go out and pick him up. Pick up a couple of the boys and don't come back without him. Okay, my Tex. Guy legs is dynamite. That's all there is. Do you know I'm sick and tired of everything? You are? Say, Gary. Let's you and I get married, huh? That's a good idea. You know, you gotta stick close to me, because I promise. You know, I have to get married. Why? Well, I promised my girl, and I would take yes for an answer. I don't blame you. Just a fellow, Frankie. Sure, I'd know that sour puss any place. I remember you. I gave you some money. Five hundred dollars I gave him. Think of it. Five hundred dollars I gave him, and he calls me sour puss. Come on, you. Confession is nine tenths of the law. I'm taking you over to Colonel Stanford's office right away. Come on. Get in, like it. Oh, dear, I'll push. That's gratitude. Gee, you were great, sis. Great. You said it. And any time you want anything done right, just call on me. An ice pack and an ounce of salt will fix that. See you later. The things I've done for flag and country. You shouldn't have done that to me. She was a nice little girl. Come on, take me back. Not a chance. Oh, 
Well, if you won't take me back, take me on up there. I have a friend up there. Sure, we'll take you up there. Yeah, where does he live? Oh, it's no he, it's a she. Wait, wait a minute, there's my pal Dopey. Wait, wait a minute, get going. Oh, wait a minute, stop it! Down. Quiet. There's legs now, let's go get him. Come on, step on it. They're following us. Come on, open this thing up. Get going. All right, Frankie. Any on us at all? Yeah. No. waiting for you. Is it okay? Okay. All right, boy, you got a customer with a gun. Got plenty of it, too. Hiya, Frankie. Whew. And see, we were coming down like this. And this car cut right in front of us, and they snatched sour push right out of the car. Oh, sorry, Frankie, but it still doesn't alter the situation. Uh, I know, Colonel, but gosh, if we could only give Smokey something to fight for. Well, he just doesn't seem to want to live. It's too bad, my boy, but... Uh... Listen, Colonel, will you do me a big favor? If I can, certainly. Well, now, look, I was at the hospital this afternoon, and, well, I lied to Smokey. I told him he was reinstated. I thought he'd believe me, but, well, he didn't. Now, you're a better liar than I am, and, uh, well, well, I mean that if you went to the hospital and told him, may maybe they'd give him something to fight for, and maybe he'd get well. Well, if you think I'm that good a liar, we'll go. Well, come on. Colonel Snapper must have made a good job of it. The doctor said there's a great improvement today. Yes, I know. I was by there a little while ago. How did trouble work out today? Great. You know, a little more work with him, and I think we've got a derby winner. Honest? You know what that means, don't you? That we can buy that little, little white, white house in the valley and get married. Come on, come on. How about some service? Coming up. Don't forget to eat all your spinnings. I'll be right back. Hmm. Listen, lady. Pretty tough to pay 50 cents for a steak that's this tough. Ah, oh, but if you pay five, it's tougher, if you get what I mean. All right, give me some ketchup. A grommet and ketchup. Brown is right. Say, do you know that costs 25 cents a bottle? Well, if it's good ketchup, it's worth it. That's how I know all about men. <laughs> Say, I said all of that spinach. That's what I love about you. Right. We always have a your way about things. That's the mother instinct in me. <laughs> Listen, darling. All joking aside. Coming up. How's about some bread? Oh. 
Do I have to send a wire to my senator to get some bread? When I eat bread, I eat bread. Back to two slices. <laughs> understand. It was swell this afternoon. I don't see how anybody could do that in trouble. <laughs> he was such a cute little guy with his long skinny legs. try to do to you. Come on, tell Papa what they try to do. Oh. 
<laughs> Sam, what's trouble doing in Dancing Boy's store? Uh, I don't know, Mr. Harrison. Uh, I guess I just put the wrong horse in the wrong stall. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't, Sam. You done put the right horse in the right stall. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing, stupid? Or playing handy. Handy? Yeah, this is the five quint triplets, the shower. Uh, what about the thumb? Oh, that's one of them looking for a cake of soap. Uh, 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 uh. You nitwit. You would have to pick the wrong horse, wouldn't you? What are you blaming me for? You know they both look alike. How could I tell? Oh, uh, that's all right. We can go get the right one. Yeah. And get filled full of lead. Cops guarding him like a visiting queen. You play the queen and I'll play the ace. Ah, dry up your lungs. Four days before the race and I stand to lose my bankroll. And that mug eating like a guy going to be hung. Well, what do you want me to do? Stop eating? No, start thinking. What is it to think about? It takes a horse and a jockey to win a race, don't it? Hey, just what do you mean? We try to get the horse, and we missed out. So? Don't be a little genius. Hey, I got an idea. Come on, fellas, get your things on. Calling cars, calling all cars. Be on the lookout for Black Packet Sedan. G1-5334, Frankie Reynolds kidnapped. Hey, Pay, let's load up this bridge from Major Reynolds. somewhere before. Was it Miami? Or was it uh, Jamaica? Or was it Tamparan? Yeah, sure, sure. Was it all those places at once? Sour puss. Hey, somebody called me that before. Hey, where did that guy get the Brannigan? Wipe my rubbing alcohol. Do? Yet. 
If they did find him, they couldn't let me know. He's been on this phone every second. Police headquarters. Frank, he's been awfully busy, Smokey. Maybe he'll come tomorrow. What do you think they're going to do with trouble, Colonel? Withdraw him, I'm afraid. Trouble's a one jockey horse. Frankie's still missing. Come on, will you text me a regular guy and let me out of here? What are you going to do about the kid? Hope he knows. I told him what to do. You don't mean you're going to. What would you do if a guy knew too much and could put the finger on you? But Tex, he's only a kid. Well, that's his tough luck. Come on, Tex, what do you say? I told you to leave me alone. I'm tired of you. Get away. Now, look, Tex. Look, I'll tell you what I'll do with you. Let me go, see? I won't squeal. I won't say a word. Honest, I won't. Please, I just got to be in that race. You better go over and collect that dough and meet me over at the airport after the race. Tex, listen. I've been waiting two years for this chance. It means everything in the world to me. I got to ride my horse. I told you to get away from me. I'll stop being alone. Take care of that. Oh. <coughs> you asked for it. But I'm sorry to tell you there's nothing new. We're doing everything we can. What did he say? He expects to see Frankie released within 24 hours after the race. I think it was a gambling ringer holding him. What did they say about Texadon? Oh, they've been trailing him, but still haven't anything on him. Has come that Frankie Reynolds, mounted that Wonder Horse trouble, is reported missing. That's the way to play that hand. Get out of here, you rum dum. Oh, he's not so dumb. He knows what he's doing. Hey, anybody know what time it is? What do you care? You ain't going anywhere. I'm just wondering if the first race has started yet. Matter, don't be. Ain't you going to play your hand? No, I don't feel so good. I got awful pain. Say, I got something that fix you up perfect. Yeah? What? Well, you take this thing. And you stick the little black hole in your rear, pull the trigger, and you'll never have another pain as long as you live. <laughs> hey, Dopey. You know, I could write your prescription. Yeah? Sure, I used to study medicine. That's right. I heard about that. Would you, kid? Oh, I don't know. I'm... I got terrible pain. Come on, will you? Can't you see I'm in agony? Well, if it's as bad as all that, all right. In the stomach, huh? Yeah, I'll fix you right up. Come here, Bruce. Mayor Harrison asked you to take him out on trouble. I want you to turn him down, see? Pass the word along to the rest of the boys. Okay, okay. Second race is coming up in less than ten minutes. The third race, not more than half an hour later. What can have happened to Frankie? Hey, Leon! in the joint on bubbling over. Well, I haven't got much magnesia, but I would like a little money. Can you rest you some medicine? I'll say you can, because, brother, medicine is my strongest weakness. <laughs> Mix the thrust for me, and be careful you get it just right. Come on, get back. 
Катя. Gee, you shot him, you mug. I didn't mean to. Quick, get the water and towel. What is this? He doesn't know. Is there a law against having the tummy ache? Tummy. Come on, we want to get some information out of you. Wait a minute, I want to get my medicine. You'll get your medicine, all right. Will I? You're a bitch. Oh, that's swell. <laughs> Nothing. All the boys seem afraid to ride trouble. Oh, that's strange. No, it isn't. Not if you know Tex O'Donnell. Listen, I've got to try two more boys. All right, get them up, you mugs. Come on, get over there. You too. Hey, look. My name is Frankie Rebel. I've got to get to the racetrack right away. Hey, Danny. This kid's been shot. Call an ambulance right away. I don't want an ambulance. I've got to get that racetrack right now. Yeah, Come sure, on. Sure, sure, kid. Just take it easy now. But you don't understand. Nobody else killed but me. I've got to get there. All right. Come on, right. help me up. Just take it easy. O'Donnell, if anything has happened to Frankie, this town's not going to be big enough for both of us. You got me wrong. I don't know what you're talking about. Looks as though you won one bet. But I'm not going to run trouble. But remember this. If anything has happened to that kid. Another bulletin about Frankie Reynolds. He is still missing. The entire police force are combing the country for... Well, they're starting the third race, Sam. Uh, I guess he wouldn't have won anyway. Oh, we're not too sure about that, are we, Trouble? Uh, uh, hold still now. Uh, this blamed old horse has been on the seat ever since Frankie went away. Uh, I guess he's about to fret himself to death if, if Frankie don't come back soon. Don't forget, it's up to you and bubbling over. It's in the bag. I tell you, I gotta get to the races. Look, I'm all right. You'll be all right. You gotta go. But, mister, I wanna... Him. Better put the cooler on him, Sam. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, don't, dear. We'll get another chance. Come on now. I'll meet you up in the stand.
Look, it's Frankie. Frankie! Hey, isn't that that Reynolds kid? How do you suppose he got away? I don't know. I'm going to hang around here and find out. Come on, let's go. on racing, you know, you'll have to be raising some horse flesh. Here. Well, you'd better take your share out of this. You're going to have to raise, uh... We're going to raise, uh... Clay? Darling. 